Good morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. This is Amy and Kelly and Deba, and we are loaded with positive energy today to uh, go through a great power class all together. So jump on in, roll out your mats, make sure that you have some water. Uh, it's beautiful outside. So if you uh, have a place outside that you can practice, bring your device out there. Um, what a day. Yesterday, today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we've got this for about six days. Uh, it's beautiful. So fresh air is everything. A lot of fresh water. Uh, good old exercise. And we're all going to feel pretty darn good. So thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, I don't see anybody coming through the door yet, but hopefully that'll change. Uh, these are our masks. Uh, these you get if you make a donation on our Venmo page. So I hope you'll consider doing that if you have extra quarters or dimes or nickels hanging around the house and you don't know what to do with them. Maybe consider uh, bringing them to or uh, turning them into some sort of a donation for us. And if not, that's totally great also. So if you need a mask or just want to take yoga with us, just jump in. It doesn't matter uh, about Venmo or anything else. So that's what we're here for. We'd really like to provide um, a fantastic uh, opportunity to stay strong and healthy during uh, these uncharted times. That's our goal. So now we're all kind of plugging along, trying to do that too, taking good care of ourselves, staying positive, and lending a hand to other people whenever there's an opportunity to do that. Uh, that's the best thing that any of us can do is help one another. So that's my little spiel. And uh, I just want to make sure there are no questions concerning opening. So Susie's here. Good morning, Susie. Cassia, good morning. Charlie and Maureen. And that's uh, a nice little uh, start to a class. So thanks a million. If you have questions for us, you can email us, mysticfitness at gmail.com. You can leave us messages on our telephone, 508-820-YOGA. Uh, how else? You can put little love notes on our front door which is always locked, but still, we're here every morning, so we will see uh, any little uh, notes or questions. Our goal is June 29th, if it's safe. So our primary objective is going to be to keep everybody safe and to not uh, further uh, contribute in a negative way to the spread of COVID. So we're going to follow all regulations. Uh, we won't have outdoor classes or any classes for that matter until the governor says it is legal and okay and safe to open. So keep joining us virtually. Keep doing these safe things. Okay, protect the world, please. And uh, let's get started. I don't think there's anything else. We're going to start seated. So sitting nice and upright and tall lifting up through your spine, belly is drawn in. I'd like you to just spend a few breaths centering. So centering is positioning yourself on our planet in a free and safe way, finding your place. With your sits bones grounded and your spine and heart lifted, relax your shoulders, bring them up and down and back. Take some cleansing breaths in and out. If you really want to connect with your breath here, if there's room, in your thoughts, you may set an intention for your practice for the next 60 minutes of power yoga. Together, as a group, we will start our session with the sacred sound of Om, preceded by a cleansing breath in, so please breathe in. 
and out. Once more, breathe in. Oh. Have a wonderful class, everybody. We're going to start our class by lifting our arms up. So raise your arms up in the air. Open and close your fingers. Let's circle at our wrists so you can start twirling your hands. Shake your hands a little bit. So as if you're shaking water off your hands. Good. Such a nice thing to do any time of day, actually, is just shake those hands, shake those fingers, keep them limber, keep them agile. And we'll breathe in and we'll sweep our arms up super high, so lift up and find that body stretch. Drop your right arm down to the right, lift your left arm up, and just take a nice little side bend. And change sides for me, please. Take your side by sides at your own pace. And maybe even some forward movements. So feel free to start walking your hands in front of you, sweeping to the right and sweeping to the left. And if you're at home, please attach music if you like to practice with music. Uh, we can't. So my class last Saturday, I had a beautiful song at the end, and uh, Facebook muted it. Uh, so I'm really not allowed to provide any music, any commercial music, uh, with these classes. My apologies. Uh, but place your favorite songs on if you like practicing to music. Good. Once you've loosened up your body, uh, we're going to interlace our fingers, please, and bring your right thigh close to your chest and extend your left leg out in front of you. So this is a really nice exercise to help straighten and flatten your back and to lift up. Thank you. Taking that sideways view um, so everyone can see. And what you're going to try to do is use your right leg almost as a, uh, a brace for your back. So if you really hold on tight to it, you can truly find more length in your spine. So find that. And breathe into it. <sighs> Lovely. Let that right knee drop out to the right. So we're going to keep it bent. We're just going to drop that leg out to the right. Good. Lift those arms up. So we already took a big, beautiful stretch up, and now we're going to apply it uh, toward a forward bend. So you can interlace your fingers, lift up out of that lower back, and then please take that bend forward, rounding your spine if you wish, dropping head toward knee. And then rise back up and bring that right knee back up. Good. Switch out your legs. So we're going to lengthen the right leg and we're going to bend our left leg. Good. Interlacing your fingers around your left shin. Beautiful belly draws in and we lift up. Spend some time breathing into that lower back, breathing into your posture. And when you're ready, you will let that left thigh come out to the left. Circle, sweep your arms up high, interlacing all those fingers. Lift up out of lower back. And here we go, fold forward. 
interlacing your fingers and wrapping them possibly around the bottom of that right foot if you have that level of flexibility these guys do I don't so I hold on to my thigh you can hold your shin or your thigh it's a forward fold Spend a little breath here. Beautiful. And raise yourselves back up. How nice. And bring your left knee back up. Give it one more sweet little handle. Mm. And release that leg down for me. Great. Shake the legs out. So keeping your heels on the floor, you can just kind of, uh, you know, wave the knees wave your thighs good you guys ready to go right into some core all right let's liven this party up then <laughs> uh okay yeah absolutely lie down so a saturday morning core let's get right to it guys okay starting with boat so why don't you guys you have such beautiful boats i'm really going to take this opportunity uh, to to teach that um, so if you're not sure what to do take a look at your monitors uh, for a minute or two or 30 seconds these are boats so we're going to demonstrate different versions uh, we worked on flattening our back just now sitting upright and now we're going to apply those skills and that muscle memory to keep that back nice and flat now both of these guys have their knees bent and their toes on the floor and they're holding on to the backs of their thighs. That's awesome. Uh, if you'd like to take it up a notch, uh, you can still hold the backs of your thighs, but maybe lift the heels a little bit. Okay, so both of those are great boats. Heels on the floor or heels lifted. All the time working that core belly draws in and down. Now here's a third version. We release the backs of the thighs so you can place your arms where they serve you best. But if you're feeling unsteady here, you can apply those hands behind you as little kickstands or a little help on your boat. So play with those different uh, variations of your boat and you figure out what works for you you have many many options okay what happens when you bring your thighs and knees closer to your chest so draw the the thighs towards you okay and then straighten out those legs in front of you these are beautiful try that again knees towards you and push them out how's this feel you are experts look at this working those core muscles where are you feeling it the most middle belly so that's what's working this how's the neck we don't want to strain our necks let's find five four now these are their, their, their form is great three two one good and then stretch out nice and long so go for that long full body stretch that's a super hard exercise isn't it you can take this where you squeeze your legs that might feel really good we can also try a reverse tabletop to help uh, kind of decompress uh, the core muscles. So bringing the soles of your feet on the floor and your knees are bent, bring your hands uh, behind you. And if you can demonstrate for me, Kelly, a reverse tabletop. Normally we do tabletop on hands and knees. This is a reversed version. Does that help with your core a little bit? a little bit right so that's a nice reverse tabletop and then lie down nice and long and strong breathe in and breathe out good one more set of boats so if you're up for it you're going to uh, bring your spine up and your legs uh, either toes on the floor is perfectly great to do that holding the backs of your thighs or using your hands as little uh, uh, 
uh, training wheels, I guess, behind you is all good. And here we go. We're going to do those boat crunches again. Ten of them, if you will. One. Two. Wow. Three. Wow. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And stretch out nice and long. Breathing in, breathe it out. Oh, wow, you guys did great. That was beautiful. Bring your thighs to your belly, wrap your arms around your legs. Let's give that a good old squeeze. I'd like to work now the lower, a little bit, the lower core. Okay, that worked your middle belly core muscles around there. We're going to work a little lower now. Um, so if you raise your legs up in the air mm, and keep your legs straight, if possible, welcome to put your hands underneath your tailbone to cushion it or place a towel under there for cushioning. Okay. With feet up in the air, we point our toes and flex our feet and lower our heels six inches. Point and flex and lower and point and flex and lower, point, flex, lower, point, flex, lower, point, flex, lower, holding those heels just an inch or two above the ground, keeping the legs slightly above the ground. How does it feel then to lift your upper back a little bit off the ground as well? Breathe here. Don't strain through the neck or shoulders. Five four, three, two, one. Beautiful. And release. Shake out whatever needs shaking out. Maybe just kind of noodling your legs, noodling your arms, opening and closing, shoulders to, sh to ears, whatever feels good. Oh, that's a great idea. Stirring the knees is wonderful. So if you bend your knees and put one hand on each knee and open and close your thighs, stirring your knees toward your chest and away from your chest. <laughs> and a couple more ab exercises, okay? And then we'll check it off the list and we'll head over to some of those uh Love checking things off the list, especially these days. You've got to make that list, don't you think? Um, that helped me uh, late in, in the second half of March, right, when this all first happened and we didn't know what we were going to do with ourselves. And I just made a list of three things for each day. Every night I would just list three things for the next day. N no great expectations or anything and then check them off. And somehow we got three months later, right? I know, with a lot of accomplishments. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I said two more. So here's your first one. Or that was that one of those two? That was, we did one. So we have one more? Oh, darn. All right, one more. And let's see what's it going to be. I like the old-fashioned bicycles. So fingers behind the back of your skull, elbows splayed out. And it was all ready. She's got knees right above hips. She's our ab specialist. Release the left leg down <laughs> and, and out. Good. And uh, the elbow, the opposite elbow meets the knee. So go for it. And I usually ask that you stop that knee when it is right above the hip, that you don't pull it in closer to you beyond that hip space. Uh, uh, but again, that's super challenging. So um, if you can, then go for it. And if not, you can pull your knee in a little closer. Um, here we go. Ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And let it go. You feeling pretty abbed out, guys? Well, that's just it. 
Yeah, that's exactly it. So now our inner flame is on. Um, so you're fired up from the inside out, and that's going to help propel you through the rest of this. So if you're ready, stick pose. So you lengthen those arms and lengthen your legs. Inhale that long body stretch. And as you exhale, it is one vertebra at a time that lifts up. So slowly rising up, vertebra by vertebra. Nice. And then holding on to your feet or your shins or your calves. Letting your head drop and just taking a forward bend here. Breathe. And at your own pace, spin around and find your tabletop position. So this is tabletop proper on hands and knees, shoulders above wrists and hips above knees. Good. And we'll inhale and arch the spine. Exhale, rounding and tucking. So go ahead and alternate inhaling and exhaling cows and cat positions. And when you're ready, you tuck your toes under and lift your knees up in the ground. Time for downward facing dog. So go for it good and start walking your dog so pressing one heel at a time into the ground and bending one knee at a time walking that dog big breath in and breathe out and twice more big breath in and breath out good Sun salutation A, so we'll bend our knees. Please look forward. Good. Hop, skip, jump, or walk. Feet will meet the hands at this point. Excellent. Hands on shins, breathing into your halfway lift. Crown of head pulls forward. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle sweep. Rise all the way up to the sky and reach. Good. Hands meet in prayer above you. And then pull your prayer hands down to your heart center. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale, circle sweep, rise nice and high, reach. Exhale, your forward fold, draw all the way down. Beautiful. Hands on the ground, inhaling to flat back, halfway lift. And hop, skip, jump, walk, however you want to get back to that high plank, go there. Option to take tabletop instead of high plank. So if you're not a planker, please bring your knees to the ground and find tabletop instead. Holding tabletop or plank for five seconds, please. Four, three, two, one. Rolling forward on the toes and bending at your elbows or dropping knees. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Inhale to your upward facing dog. How lovely. Exhale, downward facing dog, tucking your toes and flipping your feet. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time, sun salutation A, so prepare for flight. Bend the knees, look forward, hop, skip, jump, walk, feet meet the hands. Inhaling to your flat back with your hands on shins. And exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, rise up, circle sweep, reach. Exhale, prayer hands to your heart center, breathing in and breathing out. Awesome. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, your forward fold, taking it all the way down. <laughs> Inhaling, flat back and finding plank position. Holding plank, please hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, Chaturanga Vinyasa, inhaling to upward facing dog. Good, exhale, downward facing dog, finding a big breath in and letting go with ah. We're going to find chair pose next, so look forward, bend your knees, feet meet the hands. Hop, skip, jump, walk, however you want to get there. You could be as fancy or not as you wish. Flat back with hands on shins. Inhale to that halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Uh, good. Bend your knees here. So find a nice grounding through the soles of the feet and bend your knees. 
Inhale, chest lifts, and we stay in chair position. Good. Good on those chairs. Now, there are options here. You can separate your feet or keep them side by side and together. Edges of the feet touch almost. Make sure the soles of the feet are grounded. So I think you have a view where you can see Kelly's feet are separated. and Actually, Deba's are too, but not as much. Okay. This is chair position. And good. Chair is a launching position. So when you're bent up like that, when your knees are bent and you're uh, leaning forward, you know, that's almost like a, a compressed spring. So let's fly up. Inhale, stretch up nice and high to the sky. And exhale, dip down into chair position. Good. Inhale, high to the sky, stretch. Exhale, dip. Two more. Inhale, stretching up. And exhale, dipping. One more. Stretch it up. Good. And dip. Fantastic. Inhale, rise all the way up. Two hands meet in prayer above you. And exhale, prayer hands to your heart center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Circle sweep up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Take it all the way down. Excellent. Hands on the ground. Inhaling, flat back. And you can walk, step, hop, jump, however you want to get there to a high plank position. Let's hold plank. We hold it five, four, three, two, one, chaturanga. Inhaling upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. You guys are great. Walk it out, bend one knee at a time, place one heel at a time into the ground. Yeah, it's an awesome time for a drink. So uh, I remember last week Susie told us she has coffee and water with her practice with us. One of the benefits of practicing uh, via virtual is you can have whatever beverages you want. Maybe Sunday there's a Bloody Mary uh, for Kelly's class tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know these things. Press one heel at a time into the ground. Bend one knee at a time. Take your big breath in. Let go with your ah. Uh, okay. Sun salutation B. So look forward. Bend your knees. Hop, skip, jump, or walk. You're going to have those feet meet your hands. Hands on the shins. Inhaling flat back. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. So we sweep those arms up high. Exhale, prayer hands to your heart center. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, sweep it up, rise. Exhale, forward fold, taking it all the way down. Inhaling, flat back. You can walk or hop back to that high plank. Holding plank for five, four, Three, two, one, and Chaturanga Vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up to the air. And as you exhale, you carefully place that right foot in between your hands, coming to runner's lunge position. Good. Make sure the insides of your thighs are drawing toward one another like a pair of scissors. That's going to secure your balance here. Good. Pull your arms back for me, please, pointing the fingertips behind you. This is an airplane lunge. It's supercharged. Thunderbolt. Bring your left arm in front of you. Beautiful. And then open up to warrior two position. Peel the arms open and drop the back heel down. And this is warrior two. And at this point, your hips probably should be uh, on a plane that's parallel to the plane of your device. So you're looking at your device, so those hips are open. So they're not in front of you, but they're open to the plane of this screen that you're watching. Flip your palms, breathe in, and reverse your warrior. Please draw back. 
holding that reversed warrior, use some breath here. You can uh, bind one arm behind you if you like that. Fantastic. Extended side angle lunge. So we will bring our arms and our torso forward here. And again, there are different placements for the arms. So if you guys want to demonstrate that, that would be lovely. Anybody who's curious, look into your monitor. Good. That is an extended side angle lunge. Bring yourselves back to warrior two, so you tilt your body back. Opening and closing your fingers and maybe circling at your wrists here. Shoulders come up and down, so just kind of luxuriate in this beautiful warrior two. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we don't want too much pressure on that knee, so we come out of this. Propel your arms and peel your back heel up and bring your arms down to the ground. Sweep your front leg back, it's high plank and low plank, chaturanga vinyasa. Inhaling to upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Left leg comes high up in the air. Good. And place it carefully in between your hands, finding runner's lunge on the left side. And bringing those arms back behind you with fingertips pointing to the back of your room and then extending your right arm for your thunderbolt it's almost so the transition from thunderbolt to warrior two it's almost a john travolta like saturday night dancing kind of uh, saturday night fever dance move so thunderbolt to warrior two you can have some fun with that it's disco-esque for those of you who remember disco mm, i loved it good so warrior two we want the front knee tracking on top of the ankle not in front of it good here we played a little we reversed our warrior so breathe in and reverse good Feed this some breath. And then extended side angle lunge so you can reach forward as well. And many variations for your arms. Some make this position harder than uh, so you can uh, uh, change the level of challenge for this position to meet whatever you're feeling this morning. Good. Breathe. <laughs> We're filming Instagram, and Deb has got a phone call coming in. <laughs> Sorry, Instagrammers. Be curious to see if that it breaks it up. It doesn't. It's interesting. So, for all you guys who use Instagram to film, if you get a phone call in the middle, uh, it doesn't stop the filming. <laughs> when we returned to Warrior Two proper, uh, we extended our arms and we played a little. We circled at our wrists and opened and closed our hands. Uh, that's a really nice one. Kelly's got hands behind her head and just kind of going side to side. I hope you caught some of the mother-daughter classes this week. They were absolutely brilliant with Kelly and Joan. And they're all archived, so you can watch them anytime you want. Okay, guys, we're going to take it down because I don't like to put a lot of pressure on the knee and the warriors. So propel your arms down to the ground. Sweep your front leg back. Peel that back heel up. You've got high plank, low plank, chaturanga vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. One more set. We're going to fly through it a little quicker here. Inhale, right leg up in the air. Exhale, place your foot in between your hands. Runner's lunge position. Point the fingertips behind you for airplane lunge. Extend your left arm in front of you for thunderbolt. Here comes John Travolta opening up to your warrior two position. 
Breathe in, flip the palms, reverse the warrior. And breathe out, extended side angle lunge position. Bring it back to warrior two proper. Roll out those wrists. Take any uh, shoulder arm movements you wish. Find that dance. And propel your arms down to the ground. Flip your back heel up. Sweep your front leg back. It's high plank and low plank. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Breathing in. And breathing out. Beautifully done. Inhale, left leg up in the air. Place it carefully in between your hands. Runner's lunge position. Good. Pull your fingertips back behind you. Lovely. Right arm shoots forward. Thunderbolt position. Open up. Disco style. Warrior two position. Good. Flip your palms. Breathe in. Reverse the warrior. And extended side angle lunge. <laughs> back to warrior two proper this is adorable i love it so much i'm the luckiest person alive i get to be with these guys this is what puts a smile on my face every day uh let's see warrior two proper and then propel your arms down peel your back heel up sweep your front leg back high plank low plank chaturanga up dog down dog, breathing in, and breathing it out. Looking forward, bend your knees. We're heading to some balancing postures. You can hop, skip, jump, or walk, feet to hands. Inhaling flat back, halfway lift with hands on shins, and exhale forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, circle sweep. And exhale, prayer hands to heart center. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask you guys to stay in that position, actually, facing that side mirror, because what I'd like to take here are uh, some standing knee positions to crescent lunge. Okay, so the sideway view, I think, would be best for our audience out there. And as you recall, in seated, we took our fingers and we uh, held them around our shin. So I'd like you to do that now standing. This is a great, uh, let's see, how do I point here? Cha -cha. Great glute exercise. So work that standing glute. It's, yeah, I did. I touched, I, oh, I love that. I virtually, t I'm going to squeeze them, Kelly. How's that? Oh, I can do anything on this screen. Oh, man, they're firm as can be. Very good. It must be all the yoga. So keeping your thigh up nice and high, circle sweep arms up in the air. So you're going to keep that thigh up and stretch. Okay. And you, uh, the transition is into crescent lunge, so please take your sweet old time. You can enter airplane first and then crescent lunge. Okay, try this two more times. You push off with that back leg and bring your thigh up nice and high. So go your pace and then taking your crescent lunge position. And one more time. And I can't emphasize enough you doing your yoga at your pace and your level. I, I When I teach in person, that's usually my primary uh, lesson that I try to get across to everybody. Okay, and we'll step the back foot forward to meet the front one. I always say don't do anyone else's yoga. Okay. Other side, we're going to put the weight into our right foot and bring the left leg up. Okay, standing knee. And again, the glute, you want that rock solid glute right there. Poke it. It's rock solid. Good job. Breathe into it. When you're ready, the arms lift up in the air, and that thigh stays up there. Great. 
belly draws in, okay, this is not that different from when we did this seated and worked on our posture. Okay, when you're ready, it's three sets, crescent lunge. I'm reading the uh, one, a uh, Joni Mitchell biography right now called Reckless Daughter. And uh, she cites her, uh, I think it was sixth or seventh grade teacher, as teaching her the best lesson in life, which was she was a painter and a writer and, of course, a singer. And he said to her very early on, he said, uh, d paint and write with your own blood. So in other words, don't copy anybody else. One more time, guys. I said three, we'll take it into four. Inhale, up, and crescent lunge. Paint and write with your own blood. Okay, and the back leg comes forward to meet the front one, and that was exquisite. I take this up a notch now. Uh, dancer to crescent lunge position. So our traditional dancer pose, we can sweep arms up nice and high and rise. So you want to create the length and the grounding. So ground through your feet. Make sure you're rising up from there. Right palm comes out to the right, and then you reach back for your right foot or ankle from behind. Ideally, it's an inside grip, but that is negotiable if that doesn't work in your body. So Deva's got an inside grip going, and Kelly's got an outside grip. What's the purpose of the outside grip so it doesn't torque the shoulder? Yeah. Here we go. Inhale, lifting up nice and high, and exhale, hinging on that standing hip, taking the dancer. I'm going to move out of the way here. And crescent lunge from here. This is no easy transition. I realize that. Pushing off to second set of dancers. So you push off with that back leg and reach for it with your hand. Good. Beautiful crescent lunge position. And make sure you're using your breath as a tonic and a salve uh, to move through these postures uh, with your own blood. Here we go. Third set, please. Dancer's pose. And crescent lunge position. And crescent lunge, I'd like you to drop your back heel, warrior one position. So it's just a little tweak of that back heel. Good. Arms extend out to the sides, though, for this warrior one. Almost like a warrior one airplane, if you will. And then bring your hands behind you and interlace those fingers. Squeeze out those shoulders. And if that's not available to you, hold a face cloth or strap in between those hands. You just want to kind of juice those shoulders out, lift up, inhaling, and then chin to chest, we round forward, head to knee. Belly draws in deeply, and then we rise up, vertebra by vertebra. Fantastic. Release the arms out to the sides one more time. Good. Bring your back heel up. Bring your arms up, crescent lunge position. 
and your back foot steps forward to meet your front foot standing pose okay you can wiggle and woggle those legs out shake out your arms if you want to we'll try the other side <laughs> that's a good one too so weight will uh, well let's inhale and bring arms up nice and high and please place the weight in your right leg and bring your left uh, foot or ankle behind you and find your dancer it's the left palm that comes out to the left to reach that foot these are beautiful this is Danyarasana, Dandeyamana standing, Danyarasana dancer pose. Ready for crescent lunge position? Take two more sets at your own pace, dancer to crescent lunge. Uh, there's uh, such irony to doing this virtual yoga uh, for me. This is how I started yoga. I was a long distance runner and having a lot of difficulties physically. And someone suggested yoga, but I was too shy and too solitary to ever join a class. And my sister sent me a VHS tape. It was Ali McGraw's v VHS tape with, I think, Eric Schiffman, and it was yoga. <coughs> this would have been about 16 or 17 years ago. Ending in your crescent lunge, beautiful, and then dropping your back heel I think we took warrior one here, but we extended the arms out, which is a really nice feeling for warrior one to have those arms out. And sweep your hands behind you and interlace your fingers and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Lift up, chin to chest, rounding forward, head to knee. And stay here. This is called humbled warrior. Spend a few breaths here. Anyway, I used to go on my long, long runs, 10, 15, 20 miles, and then I would pop the Ally McGraw VHS tape into the VCR after, and I would do 60 minutes of this yoga in my house. And it completely healed any injuries from running. Here you go, rising back up. Good. Opening up the arms, we're going to peel the back heel up and bring your arms up, landing in crescent lunge position. And from here, our back foot steps forward to meet the front, and we land in standing pose. Good. You guys want to face the front? Five-pointed star, so inhale up. Exhale, opening up the legs and the arms. <laughs> Taking a forward fold, breath in, lift, and then forward fold in. So there is some irony to that story that now this is all we can do is the virtual yoga or looking at a screen. And that's how I began my yoga journey. And I built up the confidence to finally, uh, after a couple of years, to finally go to a, a real class with other people. And I was absolutely hooked. It was Stoughton, uh, Bikram Studio in Stoughton. I lived in Sharon, and I traveled about 35 minutes to Stoughton. That was the closest one uh, to take Bikram. And I went every single day after that, every single day after that. Yep, it was Bikram, so it was hot. Mm -hmm. And I covered my whole body for my first few classes. Big, thick cotton t-shirt and, and, and uh, the old sweatpants that we used to wear. Mm, so self-conscious. Yes. 
So you can play all kinds of ways in this forward fold. And then we're going to rise up. So arms come out, and I want you to engage the insides of your thighs as you use core power to lift up. That's great. I want to finish standing with tree position. Um, so you can glide, you can toe heel your feet together. I think that's the best way. And then the right knee bends and the uh, right toe can pivot on the ground and you can kind of open and close that leg. And then draw your right heel up your left leg. Tree. So those of you who kind of are watching, it occurred to me like no one asks questions about reopening because maybe everybody who's viewing this likes it virtual, right? And maybe you guys aren't our regular clientele here. Some of you are, but maybe most of you aren't. And this is a beautiful way to get your yoga. We will continue some live streaming even when we do reopen. pose but I've got to tell you guys there's nothing like being together nothing in the world and yoga brings us together we cannot exist alone two more breaths and I'm like the queen of solitude so for me to say that whew, and tree release and here's your other side so shake out do whatever you want to do and we'll place our weight in our right leg now and bring your left toes to the ground and open and close your thigh and let's pull that heel all the way up or down, wherever it's comfortable for you. Just please, no pressure on the standing knee. Tree pose. Two more breaths. I love being in this forest with you guys. Okay. And release your tree. You can shake out, do whatever you need to do. Abs, we checked off the list uh, f 45 minutes ago. So let's get down and uh, do a couple of hip openers and relax our bodies. I'd like you to bend your knees and put the soles of your feet on the floor here. And we're just going to, and keep the feet separate. I think this is better with separated feet. And you're just going to windshield wiper your knees from one side to the other. option to spend a little time on uh, staying put in one of those sides and you can even weigh down your knee with your other ankle uh, excuse me your thigh with your other ankle okay so if you open those legs and windshield wipe them to the right you would take your right ankle and place it over your left thigh a nice deep stretch. And of course, if you give that much attention to one side, you're going to give that much attention to the other side as well. Mm. 
and make sure you breathe in. I'd like to also include that nice lower back exercise that we do here sometimes. So stretch out nice and long. You're going to keep the left leg on the floor. Please raise the right knee and your right calf muscle or right calf is parallel to the floor. And you open your right thigh out to the right and then push through that right leg until it straightens and please rotate the leg inward. So open out straighten rotate in so some real nice leg circles here you may feel clicking throughout various parts of your body and that is perfectly normal change sides so we're going to relax the right leg now and keep it straight and on the floor left knee comes up and then we take those nice leg circles yeah is that possible? Can you feel that? Without straining though, so there should feel no strain in the lower back. Isn't that a great, great posture? We'll take a uh, reclining half pigeon as well. So now I think we're okay to do that. I'm going to have these guys demonstrate the way I like to teach it, and then they can go on and do it their way if they wish. But a nice safe way that I enjoy teaching it is feet are separated and uh, knees are bent. You'll take your right ankle over your left thigh, and then you're going to take a block, and again, Venmo, if you Venmo me and you say, hey, Amy, I want two blocks, I'll give them to you, along with a mask. All right. So we take that. And we just kind of push gently. And I love this because it doesn't re manipulate your upper body. So it doesn't um, uh, cause the upper body to become involved. You can completely ra relax that upper body, your shoulders, your neck, your head, because this beautiful block creates this nice extension. And you just gently press up against it. So my ladies, you can stay like that or feel free to find a half pigeon, pigeon version that you prefer. being sure to feed this version, uh, your version of half pigeon, lots of breath. Lovely. And then we're going to change sides, please. So maybe the other side. Both feet plant, and then the left ankle comes over the right thigh in a figure four position. And you use that block in your hand to gently persuade the left thigh away from you. You're going to feel a nice release in that lower back too when you do that. And gently releasing that, we will close out our class with waterfall. So let's get the blood out of the legs by raising them 
I like to put a block underneath my booty and then raise the legs. That way everything is downstream. Well, when I say everything, the blood, your blood, the blood that you're practicing with, gets to go downstream toward the heart. So row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, not up against resistance. Merrily, 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 merrily. And life is but a dream. So let that blood just flow downstream. Option to raise your arms up too, like Deb is doing. It's almost like Christmas Day for the heart. It doesn't have to work as hard. And you can stay in the waterfall or you can lie out nice and long corpse pose or any position that meets your criteria for the best final Shavasana on this beautiful Saturday, uh, June 13th. If you lost it, you're going to spend some time reconnecting with your breath. Students, you can stay in Shavasana as long as you wish. It has been my utmost pleasure and the highlight of my day to be here live streaming with you. Mm. And if you guys weren't showing up, we wouldn't be able to do this. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for coming to class. We'll see you tomorrow, 9 a.m. with Kelly Mays. Sunday morning yoga. Love you guys. Namaste.